Joining us now, live and exclusive on India Today News Track is Nadav Lapid. He is the Israeli filmmaker whose controversial statements have caused a furor in India. He hit out at the Kashmir files, calling it vulgar, shocking and disturbing. He even termed it propaganda from other members of the jury to the organizers of the International Film Festival in Goa. Many outraged by Nadav Lapid's comments. To try and understand why the filmmaker thought uh, Kashmir Files was offensive, we're joined uh, at this time from France by Nadav Lapid. We'll understand from him what he's thinking. We'll also give him a sense of what the rest of the country seems to be thinking at this moment about his comments. So, Nadav Lapid, head of the jury at IFI, thank you very much for joining us live. Hi. I want to start by asking you, Nadav, what is it in particular about the film and the way that it's made by Vivek Agnihotri, Anupam Kher, uh, that you found offensive, vulgar, propaganda and disturbing? Let's start from there. Yes. Uh, for me, the, the film is, is uh, full or based on uh, cinematic manipulations the way it uses image, the way it uses uh, the sound, the way the scenes are constructed, the way it uh, shows the bad ones and the good ones. You know, moreover, I had the feeling that exactly since we are talking about uh, such a huge topic, such a complex topic, such a tragic topic, such a tragedy, exactly these kind of... of, of, of events, these kind of, of tragic events, they oblige us to make serious movies. They oblige us to be as serious as possible. They, 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 and this movie for me was, 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 was exactly the, the opposite. This movie for me was really a series of basic and cheap cinematic manipulations. So what is uh, Schindler's I, List? What is, for example, FODA, uh, which was being promoted at the Indian uh, International Film Festival in Goa, which again uh, is an Israeli representation of what's happening in that part of the woods, whether it is about ISIS, whether it is about the Palestinian cause. A lot of people would find that to be propaganda. How do you determine what's propaganda? 250 crore rupees are made by the Kashmir files on the Indian box office. There were obviously lakhs of people across the country who thought it was a film that they wanted to watch. First of all, you know, I, I don't have a key to distinguish between uh, propaganda and non-propaganda and none of, none of us have uh, this key in his pocket. You know, I make movies that are uh, very often uh, polemic, that are very often controversial. Um, these movies, my movies, they, they gained awards all over the world in the most prestigious places in Cannes in Berlin and also in Goa, in Goa Film Festival. I think that almost all of them were shown there and they awarded. And yes, there are, there are people who, who talk to them with the same gravity that I was talking about uh, Kashmir Files. There are people, uh, and not few, who write or, or, or tell very, very, very hard uh, things using, using, you know, the harshest words. And I accept it. You know, this is, this is what... Especially when you do movies, you, you which haven't are, answered which my are, question. Are, I'm saying, what is are, 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 What is no, Schindler's no. List? Is that not propaganda I'll, I'll, in the I'll, same I'll, way? I'll, 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 I'll answer your question if you let me finish. Okay. Go on. Thanks. Now you don't accept, uh, expect me now to make an analyze of, of uh, Schindler's List or of not any 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 other movie. What I can say is that even the most terrible tragedies the most terrible things that happen might give birth to propaganda and, and, and to manipulative movies. And I want to make one thing clear, extremely clear and totally clear. Not for even one second, not for even one second, I, I thought or I imagined to talk about uh, the tragedy of Kashmir. Not for even one second, I've been standing there and talking about the historical facts. Not for even one second I imagine to put myself inside this historical debate. I don't feel that I'm, I'm appropriate to, to, to do it and it's not my role. I was talking 
as a filmmaker, as an artist, about the cinematic text, and only about the cinematic text. And each attempt to take my words and to turn them to a position inside the, the Kashmir case is just a cheap manipulation. It's a cheap manipulation in order to incite people against what I said and to make political profit out of it. No, but you seem and to I, have said, I, I have I, that I, statement of yours where you seem to be suggesting that this is the view of the, of the entire jury. I spoke to other members of the jury yesterday. They've also come out and spoken in public. And they say that, that you would make this kind of a comment was never discussed. You came and said, we were, all of us, disturbed and shocked by the 15th film, The Kashmir Files. That felt to us like a propaganda, vulgar movie, inappropriate for an artistic comp competitive section of a prestigious film festival. The other jury members say, that's your view, that's not their view. They, in fact, are offended and they find your comments vulgar. My uh, statement and my opinions were shared by all the jury members. We were sitting, all of us, at the screening room. Uh, feel, having the same feelings after the, the, the screening, saying the same words. Everyone was aware of what uh, is going to be said. I understand and I have emails and WhatsApps that, that prove it. I understand that under pressure or fear or anxiety, people can suddenly change their, 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 their statements and I'm not I don't want to judge them. For me, it's not a personal thing. I understand that someone can be afraid, can feel under pressure, and try to change and to modify what happened. But what I said was clearly, was clearly. No, but what evidence do you have to back this? Because I had on the show opinion, filmmaker Shudipto Sen, who was one of the jury opinion, members. He says, Nadav said this on his own. This wasn't discussed. This wasn't known to us. We were not part of the same script. Nadav went off, shot his mouth off, and he's embarrassed all I of us. Where is the evidence? If you're saying if you have evidence, so, show us the evidence that the other jury members backed you on this. I, I, have, I have a suggestion, since I guess that you consider yourself as a serious journalist. I hope so. You can call, uh, for instance, the French uh, jury member, Pascal, you can go call, for instance, the Spanish jury member, Javier, and ask them. Ask them. Well, so we can do that. Because the others who've so, spoken have said that this so, was so, your view. And you're insisting live once again so, so, that this wasn't so, so, your view alone, that the other members knew that you'd be saying this? So why, so why, so why are you saying that you can do it? Do it. Just do it. Just take, I guess, that you have a mail or phone. Call them. Ask them back you're saying you've got evidence can you show us some of that evidence where you not, uh, can not, prove not, that not, the other I'm filmmakers not. were on board when you made these comments i'm not i'm not going to to do such a thing because because i understand the sensibility and of the situation of people who are afraid and feel that they might uh, pay a price for 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 what they said and i'm sure that you and all the viewers, we respect above everything uh, the freedom of speech and the freedom of people uh, to express their opinion. And but and but, but you haven't and answered and my no, question, no, 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 Nadab. No, no, Since no, you are a no. filmmaker, let me challenge you by asking you just this. Is Schindler's List propaganda? How we, who determines what is... It's made from a particular point of view. Is Fada propaganda? You know Fada, of course. Is that propaganda? Who determines? It's made from a certain point of view for a certain community and not just in that community, even outside. People seem to have watched Fada and the Kashmir Files uh, and Schindler's List and really found it to be a very gripping watch. So who's somebody no, else who's not a filmmaker to stand up and say that you think this is propaganda? No one determines. No one determines. No one can determine if one film is propaganda and one film is not. And one might think that Schindler List, for instance, is a propaganda or, or not. And I totally respect and accept the fact that there are many people who love this movie, who think that it is a brilliant movie, as well as I respect the fact that there are people who, who think terrible things about my movies. But I, this year, was invited to Goa as the president of the jury because of my achievements as a filmmaker, in order to express my opinion, my view, and the view of the jury about the movies. So exactly as, as much as the people who love the movie have, of course, the full right, it goes without saying, 
to claim that it's a brilliant, unbelievable movie, I have the right to claim that it's the opposite. And what I did is my duty, my duty towards the festival that invited me, the festival which invited me, invited me in order to express my opinion about the movies and to say the truth as I see it. Of course, it's, sub it's subjective. We don't talk here about a scientific thing. No, but you also seem to have sparked a massive diplomatic controversy. Israel's Council General Khob Shoshani met uh, Anupam Kher, the actor of the Kashmir file, and had to apologize on behalf of the Israeli government to the government of India. I think that uh, politicians, um, they have their uh, way of make uh, profits out of cases like this. I think that, that uh, the Israeli politicians and the ambassador did uh, and abused in, a, in an ugly, disgusting and manipulative way this case. You know, I'm a private person. I have the right to say what I think. I don't need to get authorization for this, neither from the Israeli ambassador nor from no one else. I'm not their property. I don't need, need, need to get advice from there to what I say and what I don't say. I was talking as a private person and as an artist and as a filmmaker, as the president of the jury, invited by this jury to give his opin opinion about the movies. When the Israeli ambassador condemned what I said about the tragedy of Kashmir, he is doing exactly the same manipulation because, as I said, and I will say it if, if I'll have to another 1,000 times. I was never ever speaking about the Kashmir tragedy and I totally, I totally uh, uh, not taking back what I said, but I'm really sorry if people were hurted because of this. I was taking about the movie, the movie, the Kashmir files that was done based on this tragedy. And when the Israeli ambassador condemns what, what I'm saying, and claiming that he is not a film expert, but he uh, thinks that the Kashmir file is not a propaganda movie. First of all, it's his right. Second of all, as, he, as he's saying himself and witnessing himself, he is not a film expert. So maybe, maybe it's not extremely uh, appropriate to, to, to give his opinion. I mean, it's his subjective opinion. Third of all, you know, he was standing there on stage saying that, that Unfortunately, he doesn't have time to watch movies, so he doesn't know uh, a lot about cinema. So I don't know to which extent when he's claiming that it's a propaganda movie or not a propaganda movie, what exactly does it mean? But all of this is a cheap manipulation, cheap political manipulation. It is done by people in Israel and also by certain people in India about what I was saying. You, know, you seem to have had multiple run-ins uh, with the government of Israel in the past, I have over here some comments you made where you're saying that there is something rotten about the soul of Israel. Uh, you're saying that Israeli sickness or nature is characterized by young Israeli men, muscular, smiling. Uh, they are proud of being Israeli. This is a dichotomous vision of existence and us versus them all. So in multiple interviews that you've given, uh, you seem to have been constantly at odds with the, with the policies of the government of uh, Israel? Listen, I make films from the bottom of my heart. I'm Israeli. I grew up in Israeli. I passed through the whole Israeli process, high school, military service. And of course, when I see, uh, when I see things that I dislike in my country, it, it, it hurts me. It hurts my feeling and it hurts my heart. And my movies, which sometimes are crit critical and sometimes are harsh towards my country, come exactly from this, this place because this place is dear to my heart. I'm sure you feel the same thing about India and I'm sure you know very well and everyone knows very well that when something is dear to your heart, first of all you're emotional about it and second of all, of all your obligation, your only obligation is to claim and to say the truth as you see it. Who invited you to be the head of the jury in India? Because now there's a lot of outcry over this invitation being extended to you and the fact that you came and uh, said the kind of things that you did about this particular film. 
Uh, who invited you? How did you decide to come and become head of the jury at IFI this year? I was invited by, by the festival. I don't know exactly. I got an email from the festival. You know, I was a jury member in dozens and dozens of film festivals. I was a jury member in the official competition in Berlin Film Festival, in sidebars in Cannes, presidents of a sidebar section in Venice, official competition in Locarno. I've been jury member and jury president in dozens of film festivals. And when I was, was invited to go, I was extremely happy because as I said, I think that almost all my movies or maybe all my movies were shown there because my movie won the uh, uh, two uh, very prestigious prize because it's such a prestigious film festival and because I wanted to, to get to know India. Okay, you've had your say. Uh, you're alleging that other filmmakers were on board with your comments, which is what other filmmakers who were part of the jury have said is in true. They claim to have spoken to uh, some of the other members of the jury. We will follow this up, uh, but I must say that what you've said not just to members of the Kashmiri community and you haven't really been able to explain say Schindler's List or uh, Fauda and whether you find Fauda to be propaganda or not. You never answered that question. Do you think Fauda is propaganda? The serial from Israel which was being publicized and was the star attraction at the EFI this year. I mean that, that seems like propaganda. If you're looking, if you're looking at it from a Palestinian perspective, uh, that looks like propaganda. No, I find it un un unbelievable the way you repeat again and again and again the same question uh, even though I'm answering. I said again and again and again and I'm not going to, to repeat it uh, another time because I said it already. I said that there is no label propaganda or no, non-propaganda. I said that it's, it's the personal opinion of someone and, and, and I can totally understand how also people can see my films maybe as propaganda. I, I respect it. I, of course I disagree but I respect it. This was my opinion and the opinion of people around me. I was invited there to give my opinion about the movies, give awards to the best movies, to talk about their, their qualities, and also to talk about what I think about the other movies. And this is exactly what I said.